Hello. Hello. Hi, Melissa. Hi. Hi, how are you? Are you okay? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Sorry. Yeah, very well, thank you. Um, Melissa, we're just speaking to our um, correspondent on um, what's happening in England with Boris Johnson, and we're with you off the back of that, if you're happy to stay on the line. Yes, definitely. Great. Um, Melissa, I'm just going to leave you listen to the programme a second and check back in. Your line is breaking up slightly. I want to see if it settles a second, if that's okay. That's fine. If you're Great. Indoors, remember to open a window and let in the fresh air. Mental Health Awareness Week this week, and on BBC Radio Wales, we'll be speaking to a different person every day who's experienced mental health issues to hear their story and hear how their mental health has affected their lives. We'll also find out what they want to see over the next five years from the new Welsh Government. Well, today we're speaking to Melissa Rose, who's 21 and from Wrexham. She has bulimia as well as depression and anxiety, and has also had anorexia in the past. She's also active on YouTube, posting videos that describe her condition and how she copes. Uh, here she is talking with her mum, Sharon, about when she was first diagnosed. You just fell into your own little world. You didn't want to speak to anybody. You just clammed up every time we asked you what was wrong. It just was horrible. Did you see me as a different person? Yeah. You were like a little doormouse. You, were in, you know, you wouldn't speak to anybody. Do you think I still have the same habits today as I did then? Sometimes, yeah. I know it's not your fault, but that's the way it is. How does that make you feel, then? Bad. Because I, I want to know why you're doing it all the while, but I can't understand it because I'm not going through it myself. Oh, well, Melissa is with us now. Hello, welcome to the programme. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Look, the videos are, are, are really good. They're really powerful, actually, Melissa. I've looked at a, a couple of them today. And one thing that struck me, and I think it's a, a point worth getting across, Things like bulimia and anorexia, you have no control at all over this, do you? It is a, it's a mental disorder. It's not, as some people might think, a lifestyle choice. It's, it's like you have no control over your own life. Every day is a battle, every day is a challenge, and you just don't know what's coming next. That must be really, really difficult to live with. It is, because when you see other people experiencing family meals, being able to go out with friends. It's not just all about food. It comes along with other stuff as well, like depression and anxiety. And you just want to picture yourself in a normal life sometimes. But recently, with this pandemic, that's been changed because you've been limited to who you can see, where you can go. And you just feel like, you're stuck in your bedroom 24 7 seven days a week and then that's when the bad habits obviously come on and that that was a real trigger for you then was it the lockdown and everything that came with it definitely yeah because i was stopped from traveling because i love uh traveling down to london to go and see my friends billy and lee uh they're my strong point and i feel like that's where my happiness is so being stuck in Wrexham was not a good thing for me. Um, look, I'll cut to the chase about the Welsh Government, actually, because, you know, we have a new government in place now after the election on Friday. A lot of the parties, actually, have been really talking up mental health over the past few weeks as they try to get votes. What would you like them to do? In terms of your conditions, what could this new government over the next five years do that will make a, a marked difference to your life and, and people who are going through similar things? I would like to see more people getting involved with mental health, it being talked about more, letting people's voices be heard, their stories be heard, and for people not to be ashamed of what they have, because like I've been dealing with it for over 10 years, and yes, it has been in and out very bad. And like I'm sitting in front of a camera doing YouTube 24 seven, talking about it it takes a lot to do that but i still get like i don't know i still i still struggle to talk about it today but i do it for the right reasons because i want other people to know that they're not alone yeah look, i think you're doing a fantastic job in talking about it and just in terms of what the government might be able to do is it more services? Is it more people who are there for you to be able to talk to, to almost not nip the problem in the bud, but perhaps stop it getting worse than it might become without that ability to talk to someone? 
I would like to see more services getting involved and with mental health as well. I think it should be talked about in schools, much more colleges, universities, having people who experience mental health every day, going into schools and doing talks, it will inspire other kids, it will inspire other people to be able to talk about it and not feel ashamed. So by getting this government to introduce that into schools, I reckon that would be a huge help. And just let me ask finally, um, I thought it was quite brave of your mum to come on the YouTube video with you in all honesty, but that's got to be t tough for her too. How has all this affected um, your relationship with her and her relationship with you? Because she sounded as if there were still bits that perhaps understandably she couldn't quite get her head around. Like today, uh, every day is a battle and you don't know what's coming. But with being a parent of a, a child who experiences mental health, that's a big job to take on and the reason I did that video was because I wanted other people's parents to know that they they are not alone as well because they are facing battles 24 7 and when me and my mum have a, a disagreement or anything like that it can end up awful and you just feel absolutely crap afterwards so then that uh, ex extends into just going further in your mental health and making you feel okay. more well Marissa, lovely to speak to you uh, thank you so much indeed for coming on as well and, and talking about it i know you said you're easy uh, if you do need advice Marissa, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story that was great okay thank you thank you we'll speak soon okay bye 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 bye